What's up everyone? Today we're going to go over leak code 743, network delay time. The input is going to be a 2D grid of integers and the output needs to be a number. So this is a Dijkstra solution and the solution comes from leak code tab, solution tab itself and it's one of the cleanest solutions implementations of Dijkstra I've seen. So there's going to be three things that we need to do first. We have to create a map which is going to serve as an adjacency matrix. Second, we're going to have to use make we're going to have to make use of a priority queue because that's how Dijkstra's uh, algorithm is implemented. And then the last thing we're going to make use of is a map of int comma int which stores the distance between the given node k to all the other nodes and what we return is the maximum in the value set of that. So, uh, uh, let's get into it. So first we're going to convert this adjacency matrix into a sort of adjacency list representation of a graph integer and this is going to be a list of integer array and this is going to be a graph Let's call it map new hash map and for int i uh, no for int array e for edges through times what we're going to do is if the map doesn't contain that key, then we're going to add a new um, we're going to add a new array list map dot put e zero uh, new array list new array list and then once that's done, we're going to do map dot get e of 0 and then add new int array it's going to be made of e of 1 comma e of 2 and that's how we first generate our mapped and the key and value pairs are going to look like this the key is going to be like um, u1 and then the value pair is going to be like v1 comma w1 and then u2 comma v2 comma w2 so this is transforming matrix into lin uh, adjacency list. Now we have to have two other data structures. What we have to do have is a map of a integer comma integer, which is going to keep track of the distance between the node k to every other node. And the other one is we have to have a priority queue. Priority queue of type integer array. And this is how we're going to make use of the Dijkstra's shortest greedy trick. Uh, new priority queue. Uh, this is going to be also, yeah, OK. And I'm going to use a lambda expression here. Um, let's say a of uh, 1 minus b of 1. This is going to be in ascending order. Pretty much what this priority queue is going to look like is going to have like um, a node, let's say 5, and it's 3. The node 5 is 3 units away from node k. The node 8 is uh, 7 units away from node k. So that's how the priority queue is going to sort itself. Uh, I'll call this map distance. Distance. Yeah, just so we don't get confused. So the adjacency is called map. The distance, um, the, the adjacency list is called map, but the map we're using for the distance is, I'm going to call it dist. For, and the priority queue is going to be called PQ. So first we're going to offer, we're going to add new int k comma zero. Um, I changed some of the syntax a little bit from the leak code solution tab because this is more intuitive and it makes sense to me. K is the node and zero is the distance. So K is going to be zero away from itself. Now, while PQ isn't empty, what we're going to do is pull each time T for temp. Let's say P, we pulled it. And uh, let's get the node. So int node is going to be t of 0 
and int d is going to be t of 1, all right? If the distance contains it, distance map contains key, if, we, if we've already visited this node, we can just continue. We don't have to consider this node again. We shouldn't. Else, we're just going to do distance.put um, node and d. So distance, initially, it's going to say uh, k is 0 away from itself. And similarly, like whatever node is going to be that much distance. So once we put that, what we have to do is go through. We have to make use of our adjacency list. So for um, int uh, array, uh, let's say ar through through map dot get node. We go through that. Mm. What we have to do is extract this. So this is going to be like a nei for neighbor, ar of zero and then int d2 for distance to that neighbor from node that we just popped out, uh, pulled, or rather, is going to be a of 1. <sighs> then if we're going to say if distance doesn't contain, contains key, if distance doesn't contain this neighbor, then what we're going to do is we are going to add this guy into the priority queue. So we're going to say pq.add new int, right? Add, we're going to put neighbor in there, and we're going to put d plus d2 in there because we want to keep track of the distance from the original k node. Uh, okay, that guy's done. Now the for loop is ended. This is pretty much the meat of it, and we are p keeping track of how far any given node is away from k because of this line right here. Once that's over, all we have to do is find the maximum, int max is 0, um, for int i through uh, distance dot values. Max is going to be math dot max of itself and whatever new thing is going to come um, and we're going to return max. Now if if we, we have to consider the case where something is not possible, in that case what we should do before this is see if uh, distance's size is not equal to n. If it's not, we return negative 1. What this means is that there has been at least one node in the given matrix that is not reachable. And because if it was reachable, then it would have been added into distance. So that's pretty much how you saw Sand 43. If you like this video, please subscribe and like it and share it. And let me know how I can improve. Thanks for watching.